My name is Chris Schaefer. I'm the medication and urinalysis coordinator here at Michigan. Originally, I actually didn't want to come to recovery. Um, I, was, I was incarcerated for a distribution charge, and I was in the back of a transportation vehicle going from the jail to the courthouse. And along the way, a gentleman that had been through this program had mentioned McShin and recommended I end up here. Um, being incarcerated the last time, you know, I, got, I started to get really tired of the same things happening over and over, um, the direct results of my using and my behaviors and figured, you know, it's time for me to do something different. A lot of people tell me that my, my friendly nature is a gift and a curse. And, you know, today I just get to use it as a gift. And any given day we will have, um, you know, different people that come in for random urine screens. So, you know, the process is they come in, they provide their screen, you know, they get sent out to the laboratory for confirmation. Here at uh, McShin, we use uh, Aegis Labs, um, which is top top of the line testing. Um, they test for you know all of your typical uh, street drugs. We test for most of the medications that are out there. So as far as like mood stabilization, uh, mental health, um, anything for maintenance, and then we also test for a lot of the designer drugs that are designed to uh, bypass urine screens. Anything that's considered like a health use, like uh, blood pressure or cholesterol medication, things like that, they they would get their own lockbox. They can take that you know as prescribed on their own. Anything that it falls under the guise of mood stabilization or maintenance, those kind of things, we would keep those here. So they would bring their prescription to us. We would put it in a medicine cabinet, which we have here on, on site, um, that is locked. They would have their own lockbox in there. Each week, depending on what house they're in, they would come up here once a week and pack out seven days worth of medication at a time. Um, it would then be transported to their house in a lockbox so that their house leader could then uh, monitor them taking it uh, morning, noon, night, as, you know, as prescribed. Each person has their own journey. Um, and what, you know, what works for some one person might not work for the next person. The most important aspect of recovery to me is the fellowship. Here at McShin, we're healing families and saving lives every day.